the S&P uh, and NASDAQ finished at record highs yesterday. What stocks uh, can you buy or should you buy with the major indexes at or near all-time highs? Join us now with a couple of squawk picks is Ryan Payne, uh, president of Payne Capital Management. Lockheed Martin, <laughs> this is not just a 52-week high, it's an all-time high. Yes, exactly. Martin. Okay. Yeah. It, it, the valuation is still not exorbitant. If you look at it, what is it, 18 times or something? Right, a little bit less than the S&P, which is like 19 times. Okay. It was up like 50% last year. So a lot of the big tech stocks are up that much as well, but the valuations are much higher. So what else has, has Lockheed fundamentally got going for it? Okay, well, I like defense in general. I and mean, we have another $22 billion to spend this year on defense. Trump would like more if he could get it, but I don't think he's going to get it. Uh, if you look at it, they really have, on the hypersonic missiles, things like that, they're really the best player when it comes to things like that. We're going to see the government spend more money on that. Also, I like the fact that you have the Sikorsky mm -hmm. helicopter. There's about $100 billion worth of contracts that they can get with that helicopter, which they bought about four years ago, that company. So the future still looks bright, a lot of contracts to get, and they're probably in the lead position to get well, them. Okay, how about Netflix, which is not at an all-time high? Okay, it is not an all-time high. The stock's up to week high. 52 week high, but also it's 60 times forward earnings, so it's not cheap here. Um, but what I do like about the stock is if you look at its overseas growth, they had 25 million new subscribers that's overseas the, last year. That, that's what the stock keys off of at this point, right? Exactly right. And also the organic content, right? Because the big thing is they're losing things like friends, content that they're licensing. But the reality of it is the real growth for them is if they can keep getting more organic content, which they're spending a lot of money on. <laughs> anyway, Monster, Monster Beverage, uh, this is at an all-time high. Yes, and it's energy sports drinks, which is just a euphemism for a caffeinated beverage with a lot of sugar. Uh, for some reason, it's in the sports market. I don't really get that, but it's good branding. Um, and one of their newest line is called Predator. I think they should rebrand that personally, Joe, but that's just my opinion.